Hey guys, Jesse here, and I have some exciting news for you guys today. I know a lot of you guys are struggling right now with your pornography addiction, and you know, you're on this nofap journey trying to execute it properly and get past the first seven days to the 30 days. Now, I'm opening up a coaching program, and it's a beta program for a selected few amount of people so make sure you check the description in the bottom of this video and you'll see the link to that coaching program now it's not free but it will help you get to your 30 days in the first 30 days I'll be sharing the secret formula on how you can optimize your full potential as well as get to the uh, 30 days and get your full um, potential released so with that said today I want to talk a little bit of prolactin and what it does and how it affects you. So what prolactin is, is a hormone in your body that is activated after you have an orgasm. Now, if you're having frequent orgasms, uh, you know, orgasm after orgasm after orgasm, you'll release this prolactin in your body. And prolactin is um, one of the main regulators for your immune system. It is um, you know, more common in women, and it is something that is that affects you only after you orgasm. So basically, it's the main reason that you lose energy, that you're lazy, that you're too comfortable after you orgasm. And the more that you orgasm, the more you activate the prolactin. So prolactin is something that's extremely um, dangerous when it's when it comes to doing your um, 30 days of no fap or 30 days of cleansing yourself from an, an a pornography addiction. So when you're doing no fap and you're doing no fap for 30 days um, and you have too many orgasms, you release this prolactin and it will usually cause bad skin. It will usually cause hair loss. And if you couple it with the dopamine, it will cause a binge. So you're probably asking me right now, Jesse, well, if I have sex with a real human, wouldn't that release and activate more prolactin in my body? Well, no, actually, if you masturbate more, you're more likely to release more uh, prolactin that coupled with dopamine, which will cause a binge long term. So usually if you feel more comfortable, more relaxed, more lazy with the prolactin um, activated, then you will more likely be into go into a binge stage where you'll, you know, start to binge. So the less you orgasm, and this is the reason why most people feel lazy after they have sex or they more orgasm. The more or the less you orgasm, the less prolactin you're going to activate. And in turn, you won't be as lazy and you will start to have more energy. You'll realize that you'll be able to sleep for less amount of time. You'll be in the gym going harder and you will be able to lift more weights. It's good for men that, you know, if the less we orgasm, the better, because if we orgasm less, we start to generate more energy and our testosterone levels usually reach peak performance, especially after the first seven days of doing a NoFap. So that's why you will see a spike after doing the first seven days of NoFap because your testosterone levels reaches its spike after the first seven days. So with that said, prolactin isn't a good thing for you and it's only activated when you orgasm frequently, especially if you are orgasming on a binge level. So basically, don't orgasm. Try not to orgasm as much. If you are uh, sexually active and you are, you know, um, you have a girlfriend, a partner, or somebody, and you're sexually active, try not to orgasm that much. Try not to have as much sex. If you overindulge in sex, you overindulge in your prolactin, and you start to, um, you know, get lazier and sluggish. 
So try not to do it as much. Um, for me, I don't do it at all now. I'm, you know, conserving a lot of my energy and I understand how, you know, orgasm would work. The more you orgasm, the more you're going to slow yourself down. So with that said, I hope you guys got a lot of value from this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below in what your experiences are after orgasming. And I'd love to hear from what you have to say. So with that said, Jesse Wolf out. Take care, guys.